It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and there's no love lost between these AFC East foes. It's the New York Jets and the Buffalo Bills, and it comes your way next. Winter is just around the corner as you get a look at Highmark Stadium just south of Buffalo, New York. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, here in Buffalo, they love their Bills, and for good reason. Their guys, without question, one of the favorites to lift the Lombardi Trophy in Vegas come February. And you mentioned with good reason, because we know their quarterback is one of the best players in the league, but this is an overall team built to win, especially when we get into the playoffs. Offense, defense, coaching staff, they've been knocking on the door for a while. They want to find their way through and get to the Super Bowl. But meanwhile, for the Jets, you know, even putting the quarterback situation aside, this is an exciting time for them right now. Yeah, they were just 7-10 last year. I get that. But they're building a roster that's potentially got some future stars involved. They certainly are. Remember, going 7-10, they were 7-3 at one point last season. And they finished the year with the offensive and defensive rookies of the year. So you know that this roster is really on the rise. And we are underway in Buffalo. On the return is Xavier Gibson. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by Zach Wilson, former second overall pick, now in his third season out of BYU. And we all know the scouting report on him. He can attack the field at all levels with a very strong arm and make big-time plays off schedule. We also see a player with confidence and swagger. We see a guy who knows how to lead a team, who knows how to compete, and wants to be great every time he hits the field. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. Now Wilson on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Wilson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Second and ten. To throw is Wilson. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He finds Wilson, and he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 44-yard line. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball, and sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over 
over pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Von Miller doing what he does best with a sack. They'll make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively and not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. From midfield now, here's Wilson. certainly a little bit different because on the previous play he was sacked this time protection a lot better had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver on fourth down here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets Deontay Hardy back deep and he gets it away a directional kick going toward the sideline and it's out of bounds now we'll see what the side judge says he says out at the eight yard line well, here come the Bills for their first possession, led out by their 27-year-old quarterback in year six. It's Josh Allen. So this is where we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try to create some space. It'll be a gain of five. And it's second down. Now a man in for an expanded role in 2023. It's James Cook. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Allen now looks to throw. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here. You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. Yeah, not a great one there. Out of bounds in the air. And the offense is going to be set up already in enemy territory inside the 45. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here pulled in by Lazard. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. Now it's Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Brings up second and one at the 11 yard line. Second down and a yard. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wilson. 
Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Throwing again here, Wilson. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. And they ran just a little underneath the route here on first and goal, but there's really not a whole lot of room to operate this close to the goal line. He's just not able to get loose after the catch. Now a first carry for their fullback. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Coming. Here's third and goal. Throwing is Wilson. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Gregory Russo. Now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge for the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Zerline's kick is up and through. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. Well, both teams kind of feeling each other out here. And now after three drives, we have a score with that field goal. Yeah, they're still waiting for their breakout drive to come to them, all right? They're using the playbook well. They're looking for that extra section that says touchdowns instead of field goals. But they'll take the three for now and try and get set up for more later. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here. First and ten. Here's Allen. set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Well, that's unfortunate because he had a nice run going, but give credit to the defense. They got a hand in the cookie jar there, CD. You have to think about vision, finding a place to get down after you know you've gotten all you can out of a run, and obviously ball security is paramount. In today's football, everyone's coming after the rock. You've got to make sure you protect it and protect the yardage you just gained. Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson. Pass to Lazard, bringing it in on the crossing route. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. Wilson to Wilson there. Zach to Garrett for a jet first down. Looking to throw. Wilson. And check down completes a haul. 
so they'll get nothing out of that play and it'll be second down and they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side of the flat of the swing pass and didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game huge emphasis for this game but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play to throw again is Wilson he'll find Lazard here over the middle and a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Come up now, third and three. Now it's Wilson. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. On second down, here's Wilson. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Wilson. back with one complete and he'll be out of bounds taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12 and just three yards on the catch there he couldn't get away and it'll be fourth down now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together and watch the game film isn't it i mean they had the right call had the out route he's got to know where the first down sticks are yet he steps out of bounds that close not their best play and the Jets are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I love those plays. Fourth and one. That's who wants it more this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. This is caught. And he takes his down to about the two before going out of bounds. Three yards is the game that time. Second and goal. They'll look to run with Hall. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall. Taking it in from two yards out as his guys are able to extend their lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front. Offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead grows to 10 0.
So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Nothing to score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football. The ball on the 32. It's second and two. As they've got it as we resume action. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. From the gun, it's Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they get five there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Second and five. Allen to throw once more. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. Play action. Allen digs crossing the field and bringing it in. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. The Bills passing game getting them down the field. They've got another first down. And this offense has been a little slow to get going, but some signs of life here in this second quarter. They're moving it pretty good. And that helps the cause as well. Good yardage and another first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Here's second and 10. And again, it's Allen. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. To the air, Allen. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. The kick by Bass is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. 
So Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So three drives, three points, obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Another go around now for the Jets offense. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 28 yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. Connection made to record. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And they'll be left with second and a couple. On second down, a run with Hall. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. The Jets on third down, two for five to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll run with Hall. Uh -oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. This is one of the dangers of going for the punt block. And you know before you even call going for the block, it's a risk-reward play. Game. So many factors come into it. They went after it, and you know punters, what they do? They leave their leg up in the air, an extra count or two, hoping someone comes into contact. On first down, Wilson. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. A great job defensively taking away his receivers. And he was forced to put that one into Lake Erie, but that's what good quarterbacks do. They don't take unnecessary chances if they don't have to. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. There's Wilson to throw. He finds Randall Cobb on the completion. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Now Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Now Wilson. Touchdown, Jets! Garrett Wilson, 32 yards! And the Jets go up by two touchdowns. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. Well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. That's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? Just go long, <laughs> man. Yard. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead is now 17-3.
Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. On the return, Deontay Hardy. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. From the 24 now, here's a second and seven. Now Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He's up over 50 yards receiving now in this first half. It's a first down. Well, this hasn't really been a first half to remember on either side of the ball, but I think this kind of makes this an important drive. You'd love to get this back to a one-score game if you can, and that's good work there to get some yardage here and pick up the first down. Throwing on first down is Allen. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. On play action, Allen. And Diggs has it. And that's gonna be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 42. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now Allen again. Caught right side, Davis. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. 11 more on that one and another first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Allen now looks to throw. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Allen will try again on second down. That is caught at the seven. And the Bills are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Well, normally, you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Cook. Will take this over the line. Touchdown, Buffalo. So, Carter was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took him home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. The Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And it's up through the goalposts at 17-10. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was James Cook capping all of that off with a touchdown run.
after the touchdown pass to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Jets. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent, the return excellent. The result, six points. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And he returns this to the 22. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, playing the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Here's Allen to throw it. To the right side here, caught by Kincaid. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll bring up second down. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen looking for his man on the out route. And he's got Diggs. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 30. 23 yards to pick up there. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized his offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then. But they're showing signs of life here. And they get good yardage that time and a first down. So in Jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Cook up the gut. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. On second down, here's Allen. Getting the football to Davis on an out route. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Here is third and five. Now Allen. first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. 
two yards on the pickup there, and that'll make it second down. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back, who scored on their last possession. But the coverage held. It goes incomplete. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down at eight. Throwing now is Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to make it fourth down. Sean McDermott didn't hesitate. They'll go for it on fourth. Running for it. Here's Cook. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. No dice for Sean McDermott in the offense. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. Well, you feel the excitement build on those fourth down plays. Defense has to stay out there, but for the offense, when that thing doesn't work out, such disappointment. It can absolutely be a deflator, but how about the defensive guys? If they stop you on fourth down, they are absolutely elevated going to their bench. They're elevated now. Big stop on fourth down. Open man here is Conklin, and they'll get him down up past the 15. 10 yards is the pickup, good enough for a Jet first down. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. Straight ahead is Hall. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to a solid first half out of the running back, Brees Hall. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. trail here but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports and he won't quite make it to the 25 the football back to the Bills and Stephon Diggs they have to like what they've gotten from him in this game think about the accumulation of catches eight the yards per catch now, because you're getting more than a first down every time he's touching the ball. This is the kind of game you want when you're able to throw it out wide. Absolutely. Over 100 yards, has the eight catches. Jamie and Sherwood there to make the stop. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. On second down, Cook. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They run the counter with Cook. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 
Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. But they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game, and that's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. They run again on first down, Cook. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and five. This a quick pass to Davis. And Davis will have a Bills first down as he'll take this down to the 22-yard line. That one goes for eight yards. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Here's Allen on first and 10. This taken in by Kincaid. Touchdown, Bills! Dalton Kincaid, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills have cut it back within a score. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside. They give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards. And boy, did he come through, bullying his way into the end zone after the nice catch. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that cuts the lead to 24-17. to the touchdown Bass to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So here's the Jets offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, Maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. On second down, Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll make it third down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now it's Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they're on third and short. They just tried to spread the field. It worked. And I think that the spreading of the field, the extra receivers, 
has really become the next in the evolutionary chain in the NFL. Go all the way back in that situation, you're handed it to the fullback, right? As we evolved, maybe you pitched it to your tailback. Now you spread the field, and you have your choices of where to throw it and complete it for a first down. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Well, I think after that run, the defense getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. Wilson hit, it's loose, it's out, fumble. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone to the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on him. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. Yeah, here come the Bills. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I will continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on it, maybe you mix it up a little bit with play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. He'll find Diggs once more on the completion. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. From just shy of midfield, here's second and two. A tenth carry in the game for Cole. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. 52 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Well, we always talk about good down and distance allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Allen's throw is complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and a couple. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Cook again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. Now a give running right. It's Cook. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. The 
They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Allen. And that is incomplete. And the Jets' defense making things difficult there. Fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. The kick by Bass is good. And that'll bring him back within four. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Now Hall to start the drive. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. They go play action now. Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. He gets seven out of it, and he also gets a first. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. And yeah, they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pick up there of 20 yards. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. Yikes, a four yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Here's Wilson to throw. But listen, when you got the lead, there's absolutely no sense trying to fit a ball in where you shouldn't. You can see the coaching in his head taking place on that play because he saw he had a receiver in the area. They just put it well over his head out of harm's way. And this offense on third down today, they've hit on half of them, five for 10. This is third and 14. Wilson has taken in by his big tight end. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 20-yard line. Able to convert on third and 14, a terrific play call. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, 
they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. Oh no, he lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. Now he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And this is going to be brought back for the Bills touchdown. So a big turn of events there. This defense makes the play. They return it for the score, and now they have the lead. So much for ball security for the offense. Playing with a lead in the second half. They give the ball up and all of a sudden they're behind. Big time fumble. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Now Wilson on second down. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Boy, tight game like this, fourth quarter, personal foul penalties, a no-no. Yeah, we know the emotions are running high, the tensions are the same. Who can control them best could ultimately win it. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter, with them leading by four on the scoreboard. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Paul on to give up the middle. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. 48 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what we said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscle all over the field and getting pushed down it. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Dalvin Cook so good in the open field, but he's equally good down here near the goal line. He can find those seams and just push his way through. So he might get another chance or two to punch this one in. From the two now, second and goal. Here's Wilson. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Terrell Bernard getting in there to drop him for a sack. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead. Thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They'll try to run it here with Hull, and they get to him quickly here as he stops right around the 13. Only able to pick up a yard, and that's going to leave him with a long fourth and goal. But they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback it makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. Now Hardy on the return. 
And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. The Bills getting sent to go. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. A give, this is Cook. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. What an advantage having an elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. Two yards still to go, third down now. They'll run it. Here's Cook. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. This defense not budging. Back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run it until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Yeah, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sideline. And where will this be spotted? The side judge says it went out just across midfield. New York ready to go again offensively. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. On second down, here's Wilson. And his throw here is incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. To throw is Wilson. Forced out to his left. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to make it a two-score game. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. Now Hardy on the return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. 
And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Throwing to start the drive. Allen on the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Now a second and 10. Allen now looks to throw. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. This offense so far on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and ten. Here's Allen. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Now Allen. And his throw is incomplete. Well, that one fell incomplete after being tipped in the air. But I have to tell you, I had a bad flashback of going to head to the stadium stairs in practice because what we were always taught, any ball like that, if it's not spiked towards the ground and you actually tip it up, then that's an error on your part because now you've given hope to the offense, maybe help create a big play for them instead of going up and either intercepting it or knocking it down. I ran many a stadium step for my errors. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now Allen. Got to have this one. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I looked down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there, because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got the hookup with Diggs. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 21. His big day receiving just keeps getting bigger. He's over 200 yards now in the afternoon. Well, he's a diminutive receiver, Charles. Not a ton of size, but still able to bring that in against double coverage. I think that's a great job by him of understanding angles because you mentioned his size. He's not going to go over the... And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. And the Jets will take over here at their own 14-yard line. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. 
He'll give it to Hall to start the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll try and wind down some clock with Cook. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Second down to run with Hall. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36 yard line. Here comes third down at seven. Getting the ball is Cook running left. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. Oh, it's a wobbler here. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. Allen and the Bills now down by 10, a minute four on the clock. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery, but first things first, first and 10. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Here's Allen. hit but they'll say it's incomplete now the question is obvious do you try to kick the field goal right here knowing that you need two scores i would be thinking about if i were on that sideline get the field goal now try and get the touchdown later the ball on the 16 for second and 10 allen Sacked back at the 22. 
finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Well, they got a takeaway on the last drive with an interception. How about this sack as a terrific follow-up? And that keeps pressure on this offense, and it could force them into more rush decisions or another turnover. Throwing Allen. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League. But fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, so it was fun to watch from our perspective. How'd you like to be those defensive coaches, though? That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan 